This happened on our last day in Benin. As I said, my name is Chris Yasudo, and I'm very happy to meet you in the Temple of Python. In this temple, we worship and we pray a snake that we call Royal Python. They are a snake, but uh, they don't harm people. They don't have teeth, they don't have poison. Okay, they don't bite at all. We worship them because in the past, they protect the kingdom. During war time, they, this snake defend our land. That's why Pueda people worship them. Pueda is the ethnic group that worship the Python. And uh, to recognize the Pueda, you just have to look into their faces. They have marks, like the, the man in the office. They have two by five marks on their faces. So in the past, they have the passports. When they travel, people easily know that they come from Pueda. We, we said Pueda now because of the French. They could not pronounce very well Pueda. They said Pueda. Okay. The temple has since 13th centuries, if not in the past of the forest. That's why we still have some trees around. Okay? And in the Gorun tradition, we have some trees that are sacred, like Baobab tree, Iroko tree. Because this tree embody the spirit that we worship. Every market there is. So this is a sacred tree. This one is an Iroko. Alive or dead, it's still sacred. Because the, the spirit is still inside. Uh. Market days, we go at the foot of the tree and we, we, we pray, we give offering to the spirits like uh, palm oil, corn flour, food, drinks. When, when, when is the market day? Uh, each three days, each five days. Oh, okay. okay. Inside we have two types of python. This one is a female that we call Dangwe Dre. Dangwe Dre is long, while the male is short. We call the male Dangwe Pong. Dre means that it's long. Pong, short. Oh. Yeah, but okay. so inside is a shrine. What is the spirit that we worship? Today is not market day, that's why the door is closed. If mm. not, every market day is, we open the door and the priests and those who are initiated, they're going to do ritual. Oh. And uh, every seven years, we have a big ceremony mm. of purification. During this ceremony, we return the jar and we put it out. And the priest first of the temple, the woman in front, she chose 41 Ogu in Wida. But uh, in Nigeria, for Nagu Yoruba people, they call it Ogu Orisha. In Eri, in Brazil, they call it Ogu Ferai. Okay. Okay. Okay, you want to touch it, so you have to purify yourself. Okay. okay. In purification and protection. You can touch the body. It's soft and cold. Okay. You have to change your fear to audacity. Maybe you are scared. Okay. Remove your cap and we will try it. Abigail is not scared. <laughs> Thank you, sir. shoes before entering the snake Blessing to wake up in the morning and see the snake in your house. 
okay? And inside they used to drink sacred water. They drink this water, and with this water you can make dishes. It has some dishes, and you just get down, you purify yourself, and you ask what you want to the deity, okay? But only for good purposes. You don't pray in the bad way. When you finish, you let an offering is a money but any amount to be grateful to the spirit. Okay. And each month they change the skin. They change the skin. And uh, sometimes we use the skin for to continue the ritual exercise. Okay. Uh, they live like human beings. Okay. And the medium age is about 30 to 40 years. So when they uh, they die, normally we don't say that the python die in our tradition, they travel because they are spirits. So when it happened, we bury them. This is a cemetery. And we bury the snake like human beings with all respect. We have some uh, feasts of ceremony that we do before doing the ceremony. We bury them. So how many, how many pythons have died here? I can't estimate, I can't. Yeah, because the, the temple exists since 13 years. Oh. It's a lot. Okay. 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 Once a month when we release them, because of the new main road, people can cross to them. Mm. So when the accident happens... Okay. okay, then they'll bring it here. Yeah. And then they'll, they'll purify, purify yourself here and, and then they'll bury it here. Okay. And outside, we have the baobab tree. Just out, you can have a look. Mm. This baobab tree out. It is a 600 years old baobab. So they have a souvenir market. How much is this one? 2000. 2000. Safer. Mm. So I was able to get a magnet here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing that has a Benin written on it. So. This brings us to the end of all the videos in Benin. Let me know in the comment section which video is your favorite. Until next time on my next video in Ghana. I love you all. Mwah. No, relax. <laughs> No, it's fine. That's your who's here. Go ahead. Oh my god. Take pictures. Send more like. Send more like. Yeah. I mean, uh huh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.